here, but Tosh Plumley since the late 50s has worked for the Pentagon, CIA, you name it, um, on aircraft weapons flights, troop flights, you name it, and clandestine operations. He's been a multi-time whistleblower to Congress and some of the most famous investigations out there. But because there's a light side to the government, they've still kept him there working. And he put out his list of 11 questions uh, on our broadcast back in October because he'd already been contacted by the Justice Department then. And he's literally been on the show before holding up a group of planes before they take off for the Middle East. And he broke down his sources saying that it was a stand down, was a weapons transfer to arm Al-Qaeda. He's the only internal whistleblower. They've changed identities. They've gagged. They've disappeared. The other people that were over there, this is a big deal. And he got contacted and is being subpoenaed and will be gagged by the Justice Department. And he told my crew that my name was brought up, that they were, quote, listening. And so I'm going to find out what's in this subpoena, where this is going. Uh, as this huge Benghazi news breaks right now, that indeed there were these emails and they've been caught lying about that. Mr. Plumley, thank you for coming on, sir. Okay, you're welcome, Alex. I, uh, it's been a little... Uh for the moment, deal. So I hope I'm more organized well enough to. No, no, we have limited time. You've got the floor. Recap what happened. Tell us what's just uh, transpired. Okay, as you know, uh, uh, a few months ago, I posted 11 questions I was concerned about on the Benghazi thing because of information I'd received from the source uh, that worked in NATO that used to work with the Mexican Marinos uh, Task Force 7 down in Mexico. Uh, the information came back to me of uh, staging areas, uh, uh, guns going to Jordan, uh, gun running from C-130s uh, from the States into the Middle East, all kinds of different things. And the question was asked to me if I was aware of this. That particular time, I wasn't aware. Mr. Stevens came out, uh, who was uh, one of the mothers of one of the gentlemen that was killed in the Gaza attack. Uh, who was sort of snubbed, in my opinion. And so I started uh, uh, putting uh, 11 questions that was raised by this NATO source uh, and other questions that I had concerns about, about weapon shipping. So the whole thing, to me, back in September, October, began to appear that it was a weapon shipment. The whole thing was over gun. It was coming from the direct commercial sales program and being transported to forces inside Syria, uh, not necessarily Syrian rebels, but forces inside that were pilfering those weapons from storage places uh, like the Annex building and CIA safe houses in Pakistan and Jordan. Some months later, that was confirmed and vetted by uh, Washington Post uh, and other, uh, or a couple others, I can't remember. But at that point, then I was made contact first time asking where and how I was receiving my information. I told them, that source, that at that time, that I was an investigative journalist working for a newspaper called SalemNews.com, and I had uncovered information that plane loads of arms were coming from our arsenal to the Syrian rebels, I quoted rebels, going to stockpiles and safe houses in Jordan, and then being handed out and cut out to private contractors to various forces that worked for Syria. This was before our president made the announcement that we were going to arm those people. They were already being armed covertly. This program has been a program that has been ongoing for a number of years. And that, yeah, three and a half, and that includes Al-Qaeda, which is now big news. So let me ask you this question. Now you're being subpoenaed again. Tell us what happened. All right, well, here's the information I got and the reason I contacted you. I was, the subpoena as yet has not been issued. It's been processed. I was told today that Mr. Plumley, the process of subpoenaing you, blah, 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 to go back and talk about it. And I said, well, what the hell do they want to know? They want to know where you got the information about the arms ship. So, I'm not... And for those that don't know, when I've been subpoenaed before, the FBI calls and says, we're coming tomorrow with a subpoena. So that's the... So, uh, so basically, you've been told a subpoena is being issued by a judge soon, and I guess that subpoena will probably say you're gagged when you get it, correct? 
That's a good way I understand it. I'm not, that's the reason I contact you. I want this information out there before the fact so that they don't do a number on me like they've done in the past. Yeah, now, all I can say about that. Yeah, now you also told my producers, this is secondhand, that they brought up your radio interview here? They brought up not only yours, I was on some other broadcast uh, talking about ben, ben on other matters, and then in that other uh, interview, Ben Gossi came up, and I quoted the 11 questions. Uh, now, now, you said they brought up my show and Coast to Coast AM. Right. Your show and Coast to Coast, uh, John, last one, uh, uh, Mr. Wells, I believe, was with Coast to Coast, who is now with another uh, yeah. uh, uh, deal. All right, stay but, there, uh, sir. Yeah. We're going to come right back to you, Tosh. We're going to come back, and you'll have six minutes to just say whatever you want on the other side before you get the subpoena and are gagged from speaking out. And it's the Justice Department that's running all this. Fast and Furious, another gun running operation. The whole destabilization of Mexico, the whole deal, they're getting ready to gag him. And uh, they're bringing up our show. We'll be right back with the Benghazi whistleblower straight ahead. I want to say hi to Eric Holder right now. How you doing there? How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze-drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Wide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I have bought a few bottles of heart and body extract and have to say that it, it certainly does work. That's what Jack from Michigan had to say after his experience with heart pain and what he did to treat it with heart and body extract. I actually had a huge heart flutter. I was also having some edema around my ankles and very worrisome clot in my uh, right leg that would happen from time to time while I was trying to sleep. Heart and body extract is all natural with no negative side effects. It will help repair or correct past problems associated with the heart and body circulation. After my second bottle of heart and body extract, all problems are now gone. Order at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. I ordered a third bottle of heart and body extract for maintenance as I want to keep everything working. Order heart and body extract at 866-295-5305 or hbextract.com. Heart and body extract for a long and healthy life. do five minutes overdrive this is so important william robert tosh plumley testified before the frank church committee and his select committee on intelligence activities he was one of the key witnesses on that and also um plumley testified that their assessment assignment was to stop the planned assassination of john f kennedy we got to get him on someday about all that stuff uh he worked from the 1950s on for the cia as a contract pilot and even flew arms to fidel castro in cuba before they flip sides uh, for the overthrow of Batista. He, and uh, he joins us right now. He got threatened when he put this stuff up on Facebook for our show last year, but he's back and his fear was he would be subpoenaed because then they would silence him. That's why he came on last year. 
I was saying this year, time flies, back in October, and he's back with us now. So you've got the floor, sir. Uh, you were contacted, was it by the FBI, uh, or was it by your lawyer, and you were told that this is in process? What did they tell you? No, I was in a source that came back to my attorney that he had found out, and the source contacted my attorney and said they were in process of preparing a subpoena for me in reference to the 11 questions that I posted on Facebook. And uh, that's what uh, information came to me. So then it was a question of how we're going to prepare for this. So I, I was told not to go on air, keep my mouth shut, and keep this quiet. Uh, I decided that was not the best thing to do because the only thing that's going to protect me and others and the pe people that or the sources, the sensitive sources that I have working with NATO in the Middle East, the only way that I could keep them protected was to come out here and that's the reason I contacted you. I wanted this to be on record before the fact, before I received the subpoena, because the way I understand it from my legal advisor is that if I receive the subpoena and then go on the air and talk about this, I would violate a possible gag order, uh, and that's even more trouble. So that's the reason for contacting. I just got through posting the 11 questions that I was not supposed to post. I back up on my Facebook page uh, just about 10 minutes ago. So if anybody wants to go on there, look at it, they can read the 11 questions. The reason the 11 questions is so important is it's not about uh, the Benghazi with uh, Susan Rice and all that and the interview that's going on now. Eleven questions, they are still sidestepping, in my opinion, because uh, uh, perhaps you can read some of the eleven questions, you know. I mean, one of them was asking, uh, uh, is it possible to be enough off the book secret covert operations, similar to what was run in the Cuban era and back in uh, the 60s and coming into the 80s and 70s uh, with the drug war? These were questions, uh, uh, things that I've been involved with. Uh, could we be selling and supplying dangerous high-impact weapons while aiding and financing both sides of a civil war in Syria? That's the question I was asking the Congressional Committee. Forty-five letters were sent out with these 11 questions to our Congressional Committee, and the only thing that was returned by them was requests for campaign contributions from us asking those questions. We did not get those questions answered. So what you're saying is, uh, bottom line, you've risked your life, your, your, your family's everything, to tell the truth here, and now they're about to gag you to then claim you can never talk about those 11 questions again, so you're trying to draw attention to this and to what's about to happen to you so people understand you're about to go into the clutches of the very perpetrators of arming Al-Qaeda. That's about the size of it. Same thing happened to me when I testified to Kerry in reference to the iran Contra. They called me back, subpoenaed. I was a little bit naive in those days. I went back like that, dumb and happy, raised my right hand in the committee. They turned right around and then classified the committee sensitive top secret, and it's still classified committee uh, sensitive and top secret today. And I started writing uh, articles about that particular era of Iran Contra. Then I got the same type threats that I'm getting today that I was releasing classified information, blah, 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 and, uh, and basically to shut up. So I'm not going to shut up. I did discontinue my Facebook account yesterday because I wanted to see uh, about how this thing was going to unfold without me. Stay there, Tosh. We're going to do five more minutes of overdrive with you. I want to get your Facebook, put it back up on screen. We'll give you his official Facebook on the other side, and I will tweet it out the next five minutes at Real Alex Jones. Retweet it. Get this info out everywhere. This is real whistleblowing, folks. Real Edward Snowden-level stuff. Stay with us. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com.